Hey there guys, it's me again here, I'm coming back with another video. Um, as many of you online want to know, I am doing a comparison video. These are the Beats Soul HDs, which I kindly got from a friend. And then these are the Soul by Ludacris SL150s in black and chrome. Alright, so, um, first off, cases. By far, Soul's case definitely takes that away. There's this much better design. Has Velcro pouch right here. Velcro's on. And I'll show you in a sec. That's a hard, hard outer shell. Well, the Beats case is soft and plush and does not protect very well. So let's put the cases aside. Call it the headphones. These headphones, um, these aren't the newer ones that have the new uh, flex headband. These ones, I'm not sure what year these ones were from. I think these were the 2010 model. But they, they do sound good. These, by the way, these do have more bass than this. Though, I feel the bass in a pair of Beats is overpowering to the mids and the highs. While this is very balanced and evened out. Um, let me put the box aside. On these, these ones, here, I'll show you. They say that they go on your ear, but they really do go around. They, they truly do. While the Beats ones, they're very small, and they, they literally just go right over your ear. And I'll show you. They literally go right on top of your ear. Well, these ones, give me a sec. Go over top of your ears. Now, I will do a sound demo video, um, for those of you who may want to know. Um, give me just a sec. Alright, I'm going to play on the same song. I'm going to use the song Fast Lane by Bad Meets Evil. So give me just a sec. And plug in the beats first. Um, I'm just going to use the same wire for now. So it's easier for us to go back and forth. The bass, is, the bass bounce on your head, but I feel you, it, the highs and the mids are a little murky, so um, I think we're going to go on to the souls. Now we're going to go on to the souls. The base, the base on these isn't as strong, but the mids and the highs are very crisp and clear. So if you're one that listens to rock and rap, I suggest you would get something like these. But if you're an obsessed person who loves nothing but bass, get these. Because these have tons of bass. So, um, again, do a side-by-side -side comparison. You 
can also see a large difference in their size. As you can see, the beets are li quite literally half the size of these. Um, though the the beats, even for their size, they are quite good headphones. I wouldn't say they're two hundred dollar headphones, but I w I would say they're good headphones. So if you're willing to pay the two hundred dollar price tag, go for it because they do sound great. It really just depends on what genre you listen to. If you want all, if you listen to all sorts of music, get the Souls right here. If you listen to nothing but rap and are bass obsessed. Get the beats. It's as simple as that. You can't really say which brand is better than the other, considering um, it's really based off your opinion. In my opinion, I would say the Soul SL 150s are much better. But in others' opinions, who may be, like I said, bass obsessed, they might say that the beats are a million times better. While the Souls do lack the amount of bass the beats do, have, they are much, much more crisp, and you can hear every note, you can hear, you can hear pieces in a song that you could not hear before, if, like, listening to these, you can hear things in, you can hear things in these that you can't hear in these, but, I gotta say, the bass on the beats is great. Yeah, if you look right here, you can see the size difference. It's massive. And the soles extend out quite a bit. Here, I'll show you. They can fit a ginormous head. Look at that. It's like a giant's head. All the beats, um, I think they're a little more flexible. It's just the head wouldn't be quite as big, I don't think. Oh, they still look like they would fit a pretty big head. Though I also have heard that while these are not, while these headphones don't currently have fakes out on the market, these, a lot of these are fake now, considering they're one of the most popular headphones to buy. Um, I hear you can buy fakes that are just as good for about 50 bucks, so... If you want people to think you have beats, and think they sound like beats, you might as well go for the fake pair, considering they seem to sound the same. I have multiple friends who do happen to purchase fake beats, and to be honest, they do sound the exact same. This pair was purchased off Amazon, I think my friend had said. Um... Don't I'll have to ask him what he paid for him. I think he said he paid one fifty. So I mean you can find some good deals on Amazon. Don't my advice if you don't want to buy a pair of fakes, don't buy off eBay. Unless it's from an authorized reseller. If it's not, go to Amazon, um, go to Best Buy, any place from there. As long as it's on the monster website that's certified, you can purchase it from there and not worry. Um, the advantage of buying the Souls is you know you're always buying a genuine item, considering they right now they're not faked. So, in my opinion, I would say right now Souls are better. I think if Beats, I think if Dr. Dre were to fix the um, the murkiness of the highs and the mids, I think these could these two could be very big competitors. But as of right now, I feel Ludacris outdid himself. So, without further ado, I'm going to finish this video, signing off.